Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. It is Connor here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had a great day so far. It is time to continue our best of 2022. We are, we are recapping 2022 candles that I tried and um, what my favorites were from these specific companies. Now, um, we did a homework one on Sunday, Kringle on Monday, yesterday on Tuesday, we did Bath and Body Works. Today's is actually going to be a little bit different. These are going to be different brands that I tried and pretty much me answering the question as if I would repurchase from them in 2023. So, um, these are, I have five brands here. Two of them, uh, or one of them I still shop with on the basis, but I just didn't think that it was... Like it didn't need its own video. It's Yankee Candle. I'll start off with that one, but then we have a few other smaller brands that I tried out this year um, or in 2022. So I will just kind of be talking about those since. Um, I did do videos on those specific companies. So I would definitely suggest you checking those out if you want more information on my thoughts on them. Um, I actually am gonna be starting a new series in 2023 where I will be reviewing, well, so what I'm gonna do, I'm picking out a different small candle business each month. And I will be doing one for each month. So there's gonna be 12 of them by the end of the year. And I'm going to choose a few of like the best sellers from their website. And then I'm going to be reviewing them, hauling them and just kind of trying out different small businesses. It's not only going to help them out and give them a little bit of promotion. Um, and of course, I'll link them down below for y'all. Um, when the video is here so that you guys can shop with them. And also it's going to help me to just kind of branch out and not stay in like my typical realm of brands. But um, I actually already placed my order for my first uh, one a few days ago. So the January one, I think it's already shipped. So I'm really happy about that. I have a lot of candles coming to me. I have a Kringle order that I placed last night. Um, that is coming soon. It's like an after holiday sale. I have a Hallmark's Valentine's order, which is coming tomorrow. I'm so excited because they really shipped it out quickly. I think I ordered it on Sunday and it's already coming on uh, Monday or on tomorrow, Thursday. So really, really happy about that. I also have a Scentsy order coming. So lots of hauls to come. Um, we're getting back to the regular grind and schedule of things. But anyways, let's go ahead and cover these brands that I tried and then um, answer the question is if I would repurchase or not. Sorry, that looked really big in the back there. <laughs> okay, so I've got a little list right here. I just wrote them so I could remember. Okay, so the first one, like I said, Yankee Candle. Now, this is not a new brand for me. Yankee is actually the brand that, that got me into candles. Um, and pretty much through Yankee, I fell in love with candles and then found Bath & Body Works, Kringle, Homeworks, all the other brands that I shop with. Um, I do plan on continuing to shop with Yankee. I work at Yankee, if you didn't know, um, and I really love it. So it's great. I'm really excited for their spring. I know they have like the whole Art in the Park collection um, slowly trickling in. I with All of the ones that I'd smelled, I honestly really like them all, and I do plan on purchasing all of them so I can review them for you, and I'll do a whole video once I can get my hands on the candles. Um, we've had them in like the milk cups and the um, room plugs, whatever they're called, the refills. So love Yankee, still plan on shopping from Yankee. I love the signature collection. As far as their year went, I feel like this year actually was a pretty big improvement for them. I kind of went through times with Yankee where I was like, do I even want to continue shopping with them? And that was honestly a big thing for me. I didn't even know if I wanted to continue shopping with Yankee. Um, but then for some reason I was like, let me try the signature line out. And so I tried it and I really loved it. And now um, I feel like it's brought Yankee, like the fun to Yankee back to me. Um, there was a point where it wasn't really fun for me because uh, I was frustrated with the product and kind of felt... I was kind of mad at Yankee because I was like, why, why is it like this? And I just didn't feel like it was what I originally had purchased, but now I really love the signatures and I plan to continue, continue purchasing with them. And I actually want to purchase even more than I kind of, when I started with Yankee, I got a ton, then I kind of fell off and now I want to get back into Yankee. But that is the first brand. Okay, a new brand that I tried this year, Goose Creek Candle. Now, this is not really a small brand. Um, I know a lot of you shop with them, and it's a pretty popular brand throughout the group chats on Facebook and 
you know, just the candle community. I only made a few purchases with them. And I'll be honest, like I never had a bad experience with Goose Creek. So I don't want to hate on them at all. Um, I think I made two or three purchases with them and I liked all of the scents that I got. I didn't really have any performance issues. I thought the strength in the throw was pretty good and I didn't really have any issues with them. Um, they are three wick candles. Those are the only ones that I tried and they're kind of like copycat Bath and Body Works, but um, I really liked what I purchased from them. The thing for me with Goose Creek is I just didn't get like, I just didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I need to continue purchasing with them. Like it was nothing that was really exciting me that much. I would love to give them another chance in 2023. I know they just announced their Valentine's Day collection. They're doing like a Scooby-Doo collab. Um, I may look into that, but you know, I would love to continue purchasing with them. I know that a lot of the candle community, and I'm not really up to date with like all the Goose Creek stuff, but I know a lot of people are like not purchasing with them anymore. Let me know down below in the comments what's up with them. Are they like bad performance and quality? Because I'm not really sure. And I also saw that now they're like going to get sold at Walmart. So um, that's kind of cool to see them expand. I just hope that with their expansion, their quality won't go down. Probably will, but Maybe, maybe it won't, but I just have a prediction. If they continue to expand like they are, the quality will probably go down and it seems like it may have already gone down and that's why people are done with them. But I definitely would like to give them a second chance just because I really didn't have any issues with them. It was just nothing that was like, oh my gosh, I need to purchase. So, okay, next up, Trap. I actually have a Trap here. Um, this is the, this is actually a votive from Trap. This is the Bob's Flower Shop. This smells amazing. I love a good floral candle and oh, this is so pretty. The notes are melange of fresh florals, cut green stems and aqueous notes. This is a very like floral greenery, but also watery scent and I really just like this. As far as Trap goes, I really love Trap in um, 2022. I felt like, um, they just kind of made me feel luxurious. Uh, I did buy all of them at like Home Goods and those stores like that. So I didn't purchase any from Trap's website, but I really liked them. The scents were really pretty. Um, I did have a few that were a little sooty on me, um, but I would like to purchase from them in 2023 if I see any at Home Goods um, that I really love or like something that intrigues me on their website. Um, I may purchase, we will have to see. I actually have one going downstairs right now in my crock, which is the Birchwood Pine. Um, I put it in my crock just because I'm trying to like get through my holiday stuff right now. So um, yeah, that is what is in my crock right now. I really like that one, but I'll talk more about that in the Weekend Fragrance Roundup coming on Saturday. So as far as shop goes, I do think I would repurchase. Um, I liked what I had from them. I still have a few ones to get into for the spring that I had purchased. Um, I have like a water one. I have like a cologne one. So I have a few different scents to get through with them. But I, I am pretty interested in the brand. Okay, next up, Milk House. So I got into Milk House a little. I only made like a one or two purchases uh, from them. And I only had like one or two candles. From what I did purchase, I purchased them at Home Goods, and I liked them. The strength in the throw was very weak, um, and that was my main problem with the Milk House candles. I liked the scents, and I felt that they had a really good blend, like of wax. Um, I think that they were 100% like soy or beeswax infused, and it was like very clean burn. Um, kind of reminded me of like the Kringle and Nest wax, where it's like very soft, but just burns really well. So I really like the blend that they had for their wax, but as far as the strength and the throw went for them, they were very light candles. Um, I think I was burning them in my bedroom just because they were so light. Um, definitely not something that's gonna like fill up your house or barely even fills up a room. Definitely better for more closed concepts or like a smaller home and you're gonna have to have multiple from them. Uh, if I see a scent that I love from them, then I'll consider picking up, but I don't really see myself getting much more into them. I like the look of it, the scent, but at the end of the day, if I can't smell it, then I'm not going to purchase it. And that's kind of how I feel with them. So it is a little bit unfortunate. I'm always willing to give people a second chance and I would like to try their wax melts. I've heard pretty good things about those, but just, I don't know. I didn't. It wasn't blowing me away and the strength of the throw wasn't great. So I don't really see myself going back to them that much. Okay. 
And then the last company that I have, Veluspa. So I got into Veluspa a little bit at the end of the year, just recently in December. And I actually um, had a, a viewer, one of you had sent me a crushed candy cane in the Veluspa. And I really thank you for that. Thank you so much. It really means a lot that you would send that to me and let me review it for the company because, or sorry, not for the company, for the channel. Um, but yeah, if it weren't for them sending that to me, I probably would not have tried it. Um, I had heard of Veluspa, but they're pretty pricey. They're more on the price you're in, kind of like Nest. Um, but yeah, I just never tried them. I really like the scent. I like the wax formula, kind of like I said, with the... Um, milk house but same issue it just kind of was a lighter thrower which was unfortunate i have heard and i do believe that the bigger ones that are like 200 dollars and are like the four wick huge candles they are probably much more strength than throw and probably um just really sit, like have a good smell to them but i don't know i feel like that would be an investment for me um i would like to continue with veluspa i do like the luxury feel from them and i love the packaging the glass work that they had they some really glass pretty glass work and i like the scents in general but um i would really like to try out the bigger ones to see if i could get a better strength and throw i'm not sure if i would purchase any more of the smaller ones like the one that i had gotten because it just it wasn't very strong in the strength and throw. Again, great scent, great packaging. Love the feel of it, the wax formula, but it was definitely a lighter throw. So yeah, that is the new brands and some older brands that I purchased uh, in 2022. Let me know down below if you purchased from any of these brands. Plus, do you have any suggestions of brands that I should try in 2023? Um, again, I am going to be doing that series. That video and series will probably come up in the next few weeks. Um, again, I'm planning to do one for each month. So that's going to be really fun to do. But let me know if you have any brand suggestions down below in the comments. And let me know if you have any like small candle companies that you think I should try or any just brand that you think I should try that you really enjoy. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so you guys can get a notification every time I upload. But yeah, I will be back tomorrow uh, for some candle reviews, back to the normal. I will be finishing off this series on Sunday with a my top 10 candles of 2022, which I've been working on that list and I'm still not done. It's like changing every day. I'm like, this is really hard because I also have to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. So it's very hard, but I hope you guys will tune into that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.